my Scorpio, this is Marishi, you're my challenge to Loka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Scorpions out there, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. Scorpions out there. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Okay. This one. The hermit is asking you to assess a situation. Okay? Uh, understand what is it that you want. Because there is some kind of an offer which is coming your way. You need to assess it. You need to understand. Is it worth it or not? Because whatever is coming your way is worth it has a lot of potential okay so look out for it because it is on its way okay try to understand what is being offered do not disregard uh you know what's coming your way because it seems like it has a lot of potential some of you might be dealing with a virgo Scorpions out there. What is your next card? Your next card is this one. There is something about second chances. There is something about uh, renewals, rebirths, transformation. Something which will uh, let you celebrate. A verdict is being made and I feel like it is in your favor. It is, oh, can you see the world card? There is a world card sitting. All right. So it's, it's, it's giving you a lease in life, a new lease in life. Now something is coming your way, which is going to change things around, uh, which will bring about happiness. And I don't feel like it has multiple people. It could be, there might be other people who's involved in your story, but it seems like things are going to go your way. Okay? Some kind of beautiful transformation. There is something new about this. Okay? A shift which is uh, for the better. And see, it looks like the verdict is in your favor. Okay? A verdict is being made in your favor. All right, Scorpions, what is your next card, please? This one. Like I said, with that Ace of Pentacles, an offer is coming your way with that Knight of Cups. This, uh, this Knight has to offer something. Okay, it's not an empty cup. So that's the card in the center of your reading. Along with the full card. Like I say, a shift is happening. Okay, uh, there is a new shift which is coming in your life. And the full card is a card number zero. A beginning. A new, fresh beginning. Or a fresh new beginning. Okay. Yeah. There's something about you which makes me feel like you, you just uh, doubting this. You're taking your time to uh, think with whether it's worth it. That's why we have a hermit as your first card. You're looking at it from every angle, trying to see a possibility. It might be just not good enough. Or, no, there's something about you. But they, they are asking you to assess it, all right? Because it can be a new start. There's something about taking your chances as well. Accepting the offer. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's not good. All right, justice in reverse. For you to accept this, you might uh, you might need to be unfair regards to something. 
Yes, it, it is a work situation. There is something about, you know, this is very unfair. If I have to take this up, then um, this is not just right. Okay, because justice in reverse, it's, it's injustice. So there is something about you which makes you wonder if you're doing the right thing or not. That is why I was picking up on you stalling. You stalling for some reason. Maybe you have to give up on your current job and you feel like that's not the right thing to do because, uh, I don't know, you are accountable, you're responsible for, you know, for that position you were sitting in for some time. Now you feel like it's, it's not easy to give up on it. All right, moving on. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or an Aquarius or a Pisces. What is your next card, Scorpions? This one. See, again, the World card. It is something good. All right. It will have, and it's coming in real quick. This transformation, this shift is happening real quick. And it is some kind of a commitment. It could be a contract, it could be a relationship, it could be anything, but it's coming in real quick. This change is happening. Uh, just. So, yeah. But something really makes you wonder if it's the right thing to do. And you're taking your time assessing it. Should I do it or not? Should I accept it or not? Okay, because the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, it's, it's, you know, it's rushing in. You cannot stop it, even if you wish. All right, so a commitment of some sort, okay? Strong Gemini energy, strong Taurus energy. What is your last card, Scorpius? This one. Ace of Pentacles. I told you. It's something huge. Okay? And it will bring about abundance in your life. Okay? It will set you up for the rest of your life. It has the potential to give you that stability, that security which you were seeking for. We started off we started off with the Hermit trying to assess the same card, this Ace of Pentacles, which is coming, coming your way. Okay, it is abundant. We're ending with the same thing. There is no stopping it. Okay. You need to understand, even if you feel like you're doing the wrong thing by, you know, uh, leaving behind something. But life is all about changes. You cannot be stuck in one place for too long. Change is the only thing which is not constant. So accept whatever the blessing you now which is being you know, presented to you. Because you deserve it. And I feel like you're juggling with this. Okay. And it will uh, have an impact over your, um, over your life in the sense like, it will make you financially stable and secure. You don't have to worry about anything. This this is a card which has, uh, you know, your significant other, your parents, your children, your dogs and cats, and all the coins hanging around. So it speaks about uh, 20, 30 years from now, things are going to get really, you know, secure. If you accept this. 
okay because this has the potential to bring you this in your life i wish you luck some of you might be dealing with a virgo energy that's it for that this is my machine you want to look at until next time bye bye